Support companies that help support the Stony Ridge Farm. Subscribe to the channel and contact Farm Fence Solutions for all of your fence building and tornado wire needs. Key thing we want to keep in mind is safety. So you're all responsible for your own safety. If, if it's something you don't feel comfortable with, uh, call one of the guys that's got some experience with it. Let them take over. Uh, the second thing is to have a lot of fun and learn whatever you want to learn. So if you've got a question about something or something you want to set up and see which way is better, speak up. Let's do it. Uh, but number one, you're responsible for your own safety. Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Guess what? The fence builders are here on the farm, man. It's going to be an awesome few days. We're going to be giving you some education. You're going to have some fun. We're going to be building fence on the farm. We're working with Farm Fence Solutions and Tornado Wire and several other contractors from all over the country. We've got folks here from as far away as Wyoming. So we're getting started right now. We're going to show you guys exactly what's going on. This is our pasture out in front of the house here. And if you follow the channel, the wood board fence that I built is just right down there. So Luke with Farm Fence Solutions over here on Skitty Bop, he's dropping off all the posts. We're gonna start driving posts. Got a lot of cool machines today, got a lot of cool activity. And we're gonna show you guys how we're building the fence out here in front of the house. The next few videos on the channel will all be dedicated to fencing. We're gonna try to make them educational, we're gonna try to make them fun, and we're gonna try to give you ideas for fencing on your property, and we're gonna introduce you to some awesome fencing contractors. All right, woo! Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Stony Ridge. My wife and I bought a 150 acre farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains and we're building a first generation farm. What we're doing here is we're putting in fence. So we've got a lot of the farm fenced already, probably I'm going to say 50, maybe 60% of the farm fenced already and we'll probably have 70% of the farm fenced by the end of these videos, this video series. So this machine that you see right here is called a ProTech Evo. It is a dedicated fence building machine. It's a track machine and we have two of those out here right now and we have one uh, ProTech machine that goes on the front of a skid loader. We're going to show you all these machines at work. We're going to be driving posts and we're building fence a little different than a lot of folks do. So most people use a wooden post. We're using steel posts. It's a heavy duty. It's not grandma's chain link fence post. It's a heavy duty galvanized post available at Farm Fence Solutions and all the wire we're going to be using is called Tornado Wire. Tornado Wire Titan Fixed Knot Wire. And that's what we'll be pulling around here. It comes in 660 foot rolls. I think it comes in smaller sizes and bigger sizes. But today, we're probably gonna do yeah, somewhere in the neighborhood of a half a mile right here. And then tomorrow, we're gonna do a full mile over on the other side of the farm. Awesome. Some of the best fencing contractors in the country are here, so we're gonna have a great time. We're all gonna learn a lot.
Uh, my name is Jeremy Tebbins. I'm from TNT Farm and Fence. We're located down in Kernersville. It's only about 40 minutes from here. Awesome. Cool. That's great, man. Absolutely. Local guy. So, uh, what you just drove, that's called a stubby, is that right? That is correct. And that's what we'll be welding this four inch post right here. This is the uh, end post. What do you call that? The strainer post? What it... Your end post, brace post, strainer post. Gotcha. So this will be a welded brace. There'll be a, a pipe that comes off of here and goes right to the one that he just drove in the ground right there. Do you guys have a cattle farm or a cattle operation or what you got going on? We have some cattle, but we also have dairy goats. We have horses as well. We have a little bit of everything at our place, awesome. which is really a benefit to us. We understand what works and what doesn't work for the different types of fencing out there and what our customers may need. Makes sense. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here, man. We're going to go visit some other fence builders. Woo! Woo! <laughs> So as promised, we're going to visit these different machines and we'll probably do a dedicated video to all these different machines that we're driving post with. We're going to go visit the guy that's driving the remote control skid steer. It's a Bobcat remote control unit. Awesome. Wilson Fence. Now you guys service uh, Shenandoah Valley area? Shenandoah Virginia? Valley, Augusta County, all the way up as far as Harrisonburg, all the way south as far as Lexington, maybe a little farther. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, awesome, man. Thanks for coming. T tell me why you're here. Is, is this an educational opportunity for you guys? It, or? Is. it is. It's a lot like college. Going away, learning from the big guys, and uh, hopefully apply it to, to our business and get some wisdom from everybody else. Nice. Awesome. Wilson Fence. Cool. All right, let's go visit the next guy. <laughs> it's time, buddy. <laughs> All right, Sticks is teaching today. You teaching? Yeah, I'm, I'm teaching. I'm out <laughs> here trying to show everybody how to do some tornado wiring on pipe. <laughs> He's normally not this quiet either. No. So you're Sticks fencing, and, yep. and you're out of Kentucky. Where yep. at in Kentucky? We're Paris, Kentucky, right in the middle of the, uh, the horse capital of the world. Gotcha. Yep. Awesome, awesome. And you typically build, do you typically build this type of fence or do you typically build a, a wooden fence or? Well, we're, we're now getting into the pipe fencing uh, this year. Luke has really uh, pushed me along to, to spread out what I need to do. Um, so I'm still kind of learning, uh, especially on coping the pipe and, yep. and welding all that. Gotcha. Um, I, know, I know a good idea of how, how that's going on. Awesome. Um, but typically what we're doing in Kentucky is uh, four board fencing. You know, gotcha. That's what we specialty in. Nice. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about coping pipe, what he's talking about, guys, so each one of these braces right here has to be welded. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, okay. everything's welded. So, so it, coping the pipe is cutting the angle in Cutting it. the angle in and, and di uh, digging your trench for the ground pipe, and, and then you weld that in. So Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, the guy I was going to interview next just <laughs> he saw me coming. He must have took off. <laughs> We're going to go down there and find him. Trevor Burke. I'm from uh, Alamance County, North Carolina. Nice. Uh, come out here to Josh's today to uh, see how the big boys do it with, uh, <laughs> with some big, big, big equipment. Now you're looking at getting the Protect, the P200, the one that we did all the work with out here, uh, building this uh, wood fence, right? Yes, yes, sir. That's awesome. that's, uh, you gonna that's be, a fact. You gonna get that machine? I hope so. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So what's your fence company? Let's talk about that. Uh, right now, I'm just uh, I'm just doing my own farm. Okay. Uh, we're just getting started out, but uh, I've had a lot of people ask me uh, since I've got my fence up, uh, you know, come price some fence for them. And you know, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Yeah. Uh, I'd want to do it for somebody else just as good as uh, 
as I do it for myself. So. Right on. So you're making that step, that first plunge to starting your own business, building fence. Yes, sir. We're going to try. Uh, you're, he was telling me uh, that you were building a fence on your farm and that all the neighbors saw how nice it was and was like, man, why don't you build me a fence? Yes, and sir. That, yeah. Uh, got you actually, thinking? Yeah, actually got me thinking about it, uh, watching some of your original fencing videos <laughs> uh, from here on the Stony Ridge. So. That's awesome. Well, glad to have you, man. Appreciate it. We'll air shake since we're doing our social, social distancing. distancing. But uh, thanks, man. Thanks for helping out here. I hope you're learning a lot. And uh, you going to be back tomorrow, too? Yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Mm -hmm. Ryan Sloop from Sloop Fence and from the Piedmont of North Carolina and we're here on this Stony Ridge farm. Today we are building pipe fence on tornado wire and we are getting ready to put a dead man in the ground. So we're going to drive two posts, we're going to weld in the dead man, we're going to tap it in to fit, make everything have all the right pressure on it. Everything will be welded subsurface, buried back, you'll never see it again. So uh, a lot of times the true craftsmanship of fencing that we do a lot of it is never seen so a lot of uh, the strength of a fence can sometimes be looked over because a lot of it's on a subsurface so stick around we'll show you what we're doing so what we've built here is a subsurface dead man and what the accomplishment of this is is to support this post on a turn so we have a small amount of degree change here on this fence going up Josh's driveway so instead of building a brace here opted for a dead man in the ground subsurface as you've seen some of the footage we take we split this out we drive two posts in here six feet deep driven to grade and we load a post horizontally and we weld everything in underground subsurface so the strength of this post is not just in this one post it's spread out on three posts now so that way we have three times the ground contact that we had before. So to get this post to move, we'd have to move all this dirt and two posts that are six feet deep. And that's a dead man. All right, guys, we're gonna drive down here where everybody's kind of bunched up and they're welding braces, fence braces. So uh, whenever you have a turn in your fence, you need a brace. And we also, <laughs> Had a big time rock strike right here. So Stony Ridge Farm, once again, guys, is a very stony place. You see that one bent right there? All right, uh, where is it? <laughs> right there. That was a rock strike. So we've got rocks here on the farm, but we're pretty fortunate. Um, our post spacing here, and you'll see them as we drive by, our post spacing is somewhere around the 16 foot mark. Now, if this were a larger area, we could probably get away with up to 25, sometimes even 30 feet. But uh, you can see these posts are in the ground very secure, and that's a two inch line post right there. So what we've got going on here is all these fellows are kind of learning from Luke, and we're gonna do a video totally dedicated to coping pipe and to building fence braces. And what we have is kind of a, not a sharp turn, not a 90 degree turn, but maybe a 40 degree turn right here. And we're wrapping around this edge. So the fence goes straight up through there and it goes straight down through there. And in here, we're gonna weld a brace and the brace is gonna come down off the post and go to a stubby that's nailed down into the ground six feet. This is the end of day number one on the fence project. So we'll see you guys in the morning. This video might be over 20 minutes long, but it's gonna be worth it. All right, see you in the morning. Wow.
All right, guys, we are on day number two, and we hit the ground running this morning at sunup. So right here is an Evo, I believe this is called an Evo 2. It's a, oh, it's an Evo 1. I got a guy back here tell me, Evo 1. And this is a remote control unit right here. And we're on the, completely on the other side of the farm. So we decided with this project, what we're gonna do is get out here and drive some posts. So the first thing we do is we go out and we lay everything out. We mark our spot for our posts and we drive these four inch corner posts. And those four inch corner posts will be braces. So we wanna shoot as straight a shot as we possibly can. And we're going up through the woods right here and you'll probably see some footage uh, before and after in just a second. So Luke is driving post right here. He's just gonna go along and then behind him, my little skiddy bop skid steer right here will be bringing line posts, which are two inch posts. They'll have 25 foot, 26 foot, something like that spacing. And they'll go all through here and we'll get the wire hung up. So that's what's going on today. In order to draw the straight line or put a straight line in, we're not using uh, like mason string or anything like that. We're using some 12 gauge high tensile. So there'll be 12 gauge high tensile ran on the inside of these posts all the way through here all the way to the end and that's how we'll set our line post okay and the ground is really sandy down here so we're gonna have a little bit of a complex brace system down here just because the land is real sandy we're in a creek bottom down here so what we've got here is a joystick uh, remote control on the Evo 1. Uh, this one's a fairly basic remote. We do one that, that has all the functions, but we've got the hammer function, we've got the side shift function, uh, the throttle is on this one, uh, we've got uh, the auto level rigged into this one, and then the high low transmission, as well as the park brake for safety purposes. But uh, it's, a, it's a joystick control, so instead of uh, having two extra paddles we put that on a joystick which is more intuitive for guys that are running modern equipment uh, like skid steers and excavators with pilot controls it just seems to make more sense and fit better throughout this weekend this is a three-day weekend this is the holiday weekend these guys are so kind to be out here working for us so throughout this weekend they're gonna be at least seven fence crews coming in here uh, these folks are here to learn. They're here to grow uh, as fence builders. So we're learning techniques from each other and it's gonna be really cool when we start pulling wire. That's gonna be exciting. We'll show you guys how we tie off to the post and we'll have some dedicated videos just to tying wire, just to pulling wire, just to doing short runs, hanging gates, braces, all that stuff. So there'll probably be five videos in this series. Hope you guys enjoy it.
A lot of questions on the channel. Do you need two side-by-sides? I think this answers the question, man. There's so much going on here on the farm that we do need two side-by-sides, sometimes three side-by-sides. So this one is kind of a personnel uh, mover right here and the gator is the workhorse right now. We need two side-by-sides, especially for something like this with all these people here. You have a family, is that uh, right? I, as a matter of fact, I do have a family. <laughs> I've got a wife and a daughter. That's mighty nice. Yeah. A whole lot of folks have families and this is a family thing. So right down here, we have everybody in the creek so who are you Kate. and you are is luke your dad so luke with farm fence solutions your dad and you guys i'm cade and i'm cooper cade and cooper and what y'all been doing down here and your dad is uh, you guys are from wyoming right yep. yeah and your dad is what's his fence business SWI. swi okay now these kids have been down here playing at the stony ridge falls and i came down here we had a pile of cinder blocks over here i came down to discover that they had made them a swimming hole. Isn't that awesome? Yep. <laughs> Can I get a big woo? Woo! woo. <laughs> Come on, louder, let's hear it! Woo! Come on, let's hear a woo, okay? <laughs> Look at that, they built a swimming hole, man. Industrious kids, they're hard workers. These kids are really doing us some good. You see how they pull the tire out? So they're actually just cleaning up the creek a whole lot. While everybody's over there driving posts, we got Gavin, we'll air shake, or social distance shake. Uh, Gavin is with Langley Fence? Yep. Uh, Ashboro area. Ashboro, North Carolina. Yep. Okay, good deal. And what are you doing? You're you're coping pipe, is that right? Yeah, we're coping it. Uh, cutting it all here with a bandsaw. They've got a six foot stubby drove in the ground. Yep. Over there with a four inch uh, by ten strainer post. And what we're doing, we're just cutting this to fit to match that angle. We're gonna do what they call like a knee brace. Okay. So we'll go from ground level up. We're gonna weld everything. So uh, we'll get some shots of Gavin. Now Gavin is the unofficial best welder, oh, <laughs> best welder oh. around for pipe fence around here anyway. So, uh, well, when when Sloop Fence needs somebody to weld pipe, who's he call? You're looking at him. All right, exactly. <laughs> so we'll get some footage of Gavin welding. Now you guys need to understand, and Gavin understands too. He's welding galvanized, and that's pretty dangerous, right? Yeah. So you got to wear the appropriate respirator to weld yep. galvanized. Awesome. Yep. Let's get some footage of him. He's a man, a few words, and a lot of work. <laughs> Guys, with this heavy duty pipe fence, that's where we weld the brace, and that's what we'll pull our wire from. Cool. We've got another fence crew. You guys just showed up this morning, day fencing. That day fencing. And you guys are out of? The Shenandoah Valley in Virginia. Okay, so. so it's kind of right off 81. Gotcha. 
quite a drive down here. About three and a half hours. It's gotcha. not too bad. Okay. Awesome. Now, you guys just got started in the business a few years back. Is that right? Yes. Um, I saw one of these machines on a YouTube video. Yeah. Um, so I saw that Farm Pin Solutions started to sell them. Yeah. So what, what I did, I contacted Luke. Um, I actually came here to Stony Ridge Farm last year. Yep, I remember. Um, so from there, I got the machine. It came kind of the end of the fall fence farm last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, end of October, so I started then, and it's, it's been going really well. Awesome, awesome. So tell me, you know, when you guys first started your fencing business, were you guys just hand digging your post and tamping or doing concrete, or did you just start the um, business and jump right in head first and get mainly, the best machine in the world? Me, I mean, uh, my uncle, he, he's a farmer, so um, I, I've been using a skid loader a lot. He's gotcha. got a Dan user post driver on okay. the front. Cool. Um, and then auger, when we auger out for square post, but yep. an Evo like this, um, you can just drive it. Yep. Drill through rock if you need to with the auger. Luke was telling me this kind of turned your business around. It, like, it did. It just take it, took it to the next level. If you're absolutely. gonna, absolutely. If you're gonna be a bear, be a grizzly bear, right? right. Absolutely, <laughs> that's correct. Now, are you guys using the same wire that we use? Are you guys using tornado I wire? I use tornado wire. Okay, yes. awesome. But uh, I have tried the other wire, just tornado wire. It stretches up so much easier. Does it? Um, it stretches up almost instantly when you start to pull it. Nice. Um, you don't get any slack line wire, so you can go down. I, I, our ear is really hilly anyway, so you yeah. can have. Oh yeah. Big terrain where it drops down, um, elevation changes, and just with those black line wires, just makes it easier to work with. Nice, nice. We'll start pulling wire pretty soon, guys, and that'll be in the next video in the series because we've got so much activity going on. But day fencing in the Shenandoah Valley, you're near Harrisonburg or uh, south little, of Harrisonburg? About 45 north. minutes north, 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 north of Harrisonburg. Kind of between Harrisonburg and Winchester. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here. We'll air right. shake since we're uh, social Absolutely. distancing here on the farm because, yeah. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot. Appreciate Thank you. your help. Appreciate it. So we're on a rocky ridge now. This is a rocky, rocky ridge. Our waterfall is right down here. And you can see little boulders all over everywhere. So we start driving post and bam, it hits. If it was a wood post, it would have busted wide open. So right now, what we're doing is drilling with the rock spike. We'll get you some footage of that. So what we're using here on an Evo is a special made bit. It's made just to drill rock. And each one of these teeth are supposed to hit the hole at a different spot. So it puts the maximum amount of pressure and torque on each piece of the rock as it's drilling and orbiting down in that hole. So if you see this bit, this is called a single plane rock bit. It's made by Harleman. And each one of these teeth are made to bite into the rock and chew its way through and grind out. Then the flighting carries all the spoil out the top. So as this bit, as we're putting pressure on this bit, each one of these teeth is biting in a different place and carving out the rock as we go down. Once again, why we need a gator and a Kubota. So we're pulling the wire here. We're marking the straight line. They're pulling it down through here. They've got a Jenny spinning back there. And they're pulling around the outside edge of these posts right here. So you'll see what's going on. All right, guys, <laughs> it's the end of the day. It's day two. We're all tired. Everybody's tired. We've been running around. Um, you can see the final posts have been driven. We're on the other side of the farm, so we've effectively put posts down on a mile and a half of fence, and tomorrow's video will be putting the wire up. Now, the video might not be posted tomorrow, but if, uh, if you're catching this after the fact, there'll be a link at the end of the video, and all these guys... What kind of day did we have today? Oh, we had a, big a hot day. day. Productive hot day? day? Yeah, hot? Super productive. <laughs> so this guy's from Wyoming. What do you think about the humidity of North Carolina? Um, it's a little wetter. And he's a little wetter. Yeah, he learned Sweet. about chiggers today. The bugs. Bugs? The bugs here Lots are bugs. scary. These bugs are nothing compared to Indiana bugs. We got Indiana bugs. Yeah. Murder, so. about your awesome, bugs. guys. So be sure you stick around uh, on the channel here. Pound that like button. Subscribe. We're going to go through each one of these pieces of equipment in a separate video. We're also going to talk about bracing. We're going to stretch some wire. We're going to give you some specifics there. And we're going to build a fence here on the farm. This is the Summer Fence Expo here on the Stony Ridge. Awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for coming. Pound the like button. We'll see you all next time. Everybody ready? Woo! Yeah! Woo!
<laughs> See y'all next time. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. The f <laughs> Pull on in here, cause, cause we gotta get, <laughs> that's a little too close. Mark? SWI. Okay, yep. SWI. Wyoming. And out in Wyoming. Yep. You guys are near Cody, Wyoming? Is that right? Exactly, in Cody actually. And you guys are the largest fence builder in the state of Wyoming, is that right? Yep. Now I've got some special North Carolina critter for you to put in your hand and here. And it's not a chigger. And it's not a chigger. <laughs> it's not a tick. <laughs> And if you guys don't know what chiggers are, they're little biting, stinging insect, insects. But you gotta close your hand on this. Okay. okay. Close your eyes. Don't All look. Right. I know you won't look. Close your hand. All right, so we're ready to look at it or what? Is it moving? No. Shake it a little bit. Huh. What'd you do? Kill it? <laughs> what the heck is it? it? Must be asleep. So that was a fail. That was pretty funny. <laughs> hand breach. Guys, we lost the dam. Oh! Uh, what happened? Uh, the dam. 